Hi guys, my name is Connie. I'm a group exercise instructor at the SRC, and today we're going to be doing an on-demand kettlebell workout. 30 minutes, you and me, let's get started with a warm-up. So you're, all you're going to do is get on your mat, stand nice and tall. You're going to turn your top of the hands towards each other to internally rotate those shoulders. Reach nice and high up to the ceiling. Go and take a deep breath in. Exhale, tuck the chin, and roll down one vertebrae at a time. Good. Getting into the deepest squat that you're able to do, reaching through your hands, stretching out the back. Good. And exhale, tuck the tailbone under, dig your heels into the floor as you roll up. And as you come up, flip the palms up, pinky space up to the ceiling, and you get a nice stretch through the front of the body. Good. Top of the hands together, tuck the chin, roll down. Good. Rotate those thigh bones open as you reach through the legs. Stretch out that upper back and roll yourself up, tucking the tailbone under, keeping a neutral pelvis, and looking up to the ceiling, pinkies up, palms up to stretch out the front of the chest. Good. Two more times. Inhale. Roll down. Exhale. Inhale. Feel that back puff up. Exhale. Dig the heels down. Roll yourself up. And pinkies up, palms up, and one last time. Hands up, roll down. Good. Firmly rooting those feet into the floor. Reach through and roll up. And pinkies up, palms up. Good. I lied. One more, but we're going to stay at the bottom of your squat. So roll down. Good. Staying at the bottom of your squat. You can adjust your feet if you need to. And again, you want to get as deep as you can. Okay, if you're not physically able to do that, that's okay. You might be up here and that's totally fine. Okay, whatever that you're able to do. So in this position, I want you to actively push out of your heels. Okay, and then we're going to do a nice side reach. So opening up our lats, getting a nice side stretch. Again, and going to look up to the ceiling following your hands. So it's not really a twist. It's more of a lateral stretch. Okay, so think up and over like a rainbow. Good, and you have the option of also pushing that knee out as well if you tend to cave your knees in. Good, and remember pushing out of those heels. Stay active in the squat. You can get a little inner thigh stretch while it's working here. Good, and one more to each side. Up. And up and over. Good. Now let's go ahead and straighten your legs, shimmy them back together, and stand on up to do a loaded B step. So you're going to walk your hands down to the floor into a plank position. Okay, from here, I want you to walk your knees right underneath. Actually, I lied. Just kidding. <laughs> Keep your feet back into a plank position, and you're going to send your hips back. Okay, so your hips come back, but your knees stay off the floor. Okay, so in a hovering position here, you should feel a stretch in those lats. And from here, you're just going to step forward into a deep lunge. Okay, and making sure that you're pushing out of the heels to stretch out the glutes. Again, you're going to place your hand back down and step back into that loaded beast position. Other side. Front step. Nice big stretch. Good. And step it back. Here and pulling that other hand back towards your face, activating your back muscles and stretch. If you feel good, you can go a little quicker pace. But since it's early morning for me here today, I'm going to let it sink in and get a nice little stretch. Good. Good, keeping that back active, nice, or leg nice and active and straight. So you're activating and stretching the quads here. Almost there. One more. Back. Step. Good. And finishing in a plank position, we're going to hold this position here. Good. Pull your heels back. Push the heels back. Flex the quads. Squeeze the glutes. Good. Nice straight neck. So try not to look at your belly button. Good. Work screwing those hands into the floor. If you have hyperextensive elbows, give me a tiny bend. Good. And breathe. Inhale and exhale, pull that belly button to your spine. Feel your core work a little harder. 
Good. Are you still pushing those heels back? Are you still activating the quads, squeezing those glutes? Good. Ten more seconds here. Breathing. Good. Doing that body check continuously in your mind. Good. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Drop your knees one at a time. And let's get into some side plank hip bridges. Okay, so this one, you're gonna be in a modified side plank position, okay? So elbow is gonna be in line with your shoulder socket. Knees are gonna be slightly forward and your hips are stacked on top of each other. Okay, from here, you're gonna push your hips forward, boom, as you come up and push your hips back as you come down. Okay, making sure that your obliques stay active the whole time, ready? Set and let's go. Coming up, hips come back as you go down. Push up, and it's more of a hover than completely collapsing to the floor. Okay, that way we get our glute needs active. Good, and squeeze up. Six, seven, good, eight, nine, and 10, you got two more. 11, hips back and push forward. Last one, up and hold. Good, again, you're pushing your hips forward, tucking the hips, nice strong core as you push out of your forearm. Three, two, one, and relax. Switching sides. So again, elbow underneath your shoulder socket, knees are in front of your body, Hips are stacked on top of each other. Ready, deep breath in, push into that shoulder, nice and strong. And up, back as you go down. Up, and down. So remember to push your hips back as you come down, so then you have room to push your hips forward as you bridge up. Inhale down, exhale up, and remember it's a little hover versus completely collapsing to the floor because then you lose all the work, right? You lose all the connections to your muscles. So hover and tap. Good, we got five more. Five, four, three. Good, nice and strong through that shoulder joint. Two, and one, hold it up. Ooh, this side's tough for me. <laughs> Good, you should be feeling nice and warm in the side booty here. Good, pushing out of that floor. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and back and down. Good, and relax. Let's go and get started with our circuit. Okay, we have a clean to squat to start. So go ahead and grab your kettlebell. Okay, and we're gonna have it in between our feet to start. Okay, so it's in between your foot arches, okay? So from here, we're gonna hinge down Grab our kettlebell, you're gonna hike it up and slide your hands down the horns of the kettlebell. So activate your biceps, elbows tight to the body, and then you go down into a squat. Stand, deadlift, clean it, squat, and stand. Ready? Let's get it going. So grab your kettlebells in between the arches of your feet. Good, nice flat back in your hinged position. Let's go and hike it up. Good, and squat. And two, and squat. And you go into a deeper squat if you want to, if you're able, okay? Keeping in good form, meaning your back is in neutral and your pelvis is not arching forward or tilting forward, okay? Check your knees. Making sure that your knees aren't keeping forward. Breathing. Good, you guys got it. Inhale down, exhale. Slide those hands down the kettlebell. Two more. Slide. And last one. Up and down. Woo! Safely bringing your kettlebell to the floor. If you have some core work next, you got plank horn taps. So you're gonna have the kettlebell out in front of you. Whew, I catch my breath, y'all. All right. And you want it at arm's distance, okay? So, oops. Go ahead and measure out how long 
you need for your palm to push down on the kettlebell horn. From that position, you're gonna get into a forearm plank. So elbows down, push your feet out into that plank position. Good, and we're gonna tap that horn. Ready? Set, let's go. Push down, back to your plank, push. Good. Pulling that belly button into your spine. Exhale as you push down. Now we're not just tapping here. I want you to push hard. Good. Rest down nice and hard. See how that feels on your lats, on your obliques, versus just doing a little tap, right? <laughs> Look a little harder today with me. Good. Deep breaths. Use that exhale to pull your belly button in. Good, three more. Three, two, and one. Plank position. Bring your knees down. Come on up, shake it out. And guess what, y'all? We got kettlebell swings. So, setting yourself up for swings, try to make sure, again, you're at arm's length. Okay, you're gonna pitch it back 45 degrees. From here, you're gonna break the handles on that kettlebell horn, okay? So break that kettlebell handle so your lats and arms stay active. Good, you're gonna hike it back, swing, no higher than the shoulders. Okay, when you come out of it, you hike it back to the floor, let it go and come up, okay? Safely coming in and out of your kettlebell swings, super important, yes? All right, so let's go for 15 kettlebell swings. Ready, so set yourself up. Arms length, pitch it back 45 degrees. Break the handle on that kettlebell. Good, and let's get a swinging. Hook, squeeze those glutes. All in the hips. Good, I choose to keep my elbows bent, but if you want to keep your arms straight, you totally can. So long as you keep your lats active. So kind of think about having a clipboard underneath your armpits as you swing. I kind of lost count, but that's okay. <laughs> I think we're at 10, we got five more. Five, four, three, two, one, and safely come out of that swing. Woo! All right, deep breath. We're gonna do rows next, okay? So alternating rows in a hinged position. So in a hinged position here, you're gonna row twice, and switch hands, row twice. Okay, so from the front, we row twice, and juggle it to the other side, and row twice. Cool? Deep breath in, grab your kettlebell, let's get a row in. Ready? Hinge forward into that hinge position, and let's get it going. Cool. Two, and switch. Good, keeping your neck nice and long. Pull, pull. Think about your back muscles doing the work. Otherwise, sometimes we go too much into the biceps than the ribs. Good. Breathing as you go. You're almost there. Okay, you got two more sets. Last set, two, and last two on the other side. And safely drop your kettlebell. Shake it out. You have that. One more time. <laughs> so going back to the top with your cleanest squats. If you need some water, grab some right now. I'm gonna need some, so virtual cheers, guys. All right, and let's get started. Deep breath in, Whew. set that kettlebell up between the arches of your feet. Good, hinge down, karate chop at the hips, and let's pick up that kettlebell, ready, set, and let's go, clean it, and squat. And for those of you that are squatting, with your toes pointing forward, see what it feels like pointing out a little bit? 
most people feel more comfortable in their knees with their toes slightly turned out just the way our anatomy is inhale clean it again biceps are active your elbows are tight to the body and by that i mean just engaged not clenching for dear life but <laughs> good breathing Clean it and squat. You got two more. And last one. And stand. Good. Safely lose the kettlebell to the side. Or not the side. Have it on your mat. We have those kettlebell horn taps in that plank position. Okay. So making sure it's in the center of your body. And again, at arm's length. Okay, so hands or elbows, forearms underneath the shoulders, then the leg back. Ready, set, and let's go. Tap, push down, switch sides. Tap, push down. Good, catching your breath here. Good, squeeze your inner thighs together even though your legs are apart. Helps you stabilize. That pelvis, so you don't rock side to side so much. Get pulling that belly button to spine as you push down on that kettlebell. Push down. Ten more taps. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, push out of that forearm. Three, two, and one. Back to your plank. Drop the knees down. Roll yourself up, catch your breath. We have kettlebell swings next. 15 kettlebell swings. Deep breath, get ready. And as we swing, guys, remember locking out those glutes. Boom. And we're not overarching, we're squeezing our abs nice and tight. So you end up in a straight line out of your swing. Cool? All right, deep breath. Ah, exhale it out. You guys are all warriors. All right, and let's get started on our kettlebell swings. Good, arms length. Catch it back 45 degrees. Now break the handle. You know, clipboards underneath those armpits, yes? Good, hug it back. 15 swings, let's go. Two, three, four. Power in those hips, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Safely come out of that swing. Woo! Excellent job, guys. Kettlebell hair, don't care. <laughs> hair always gets crazy after kettlebell swings. We have our alternating rows, okay? Two. Rows on either side and switching. The dog says, what's up? <laughs> All right, so let's get ready in our hinged position. Okay, if you're starting with the kettlebell on the floor, same deal. Safely get into it. Start in your hinged position. Ready? And let's get at it. Row twice. And switch. Two. And switch. Good. Remember, keeping a nice hinged position, meaning flat back. Okay, proud chest. Like someone's got a rocket strapped to your back. Got a nice pull. Think about your back muscles pulling versus your biceps. And switch. Digging into your heels so you can feel this in your hands and glutes as well. Staying in this hinged position. Good, abs pulled in. Switch. Two more sets. Whoa. One more set. And done. Kettlebell down. Shake it out for a second. Woo. All right. And we have our finishing little flow here. Okay, we're gonna do a single rack clean. 
to a single rock squat. Okay, and you're gonna keep alternating. Okay, so as you catch your breath, let me show you what you're gonna be doing. So you're gonna have the kettlebell on the floor, again, in between your uh, arches of your feet. Okay, from here, you're gonna clean it up, squat, come back down, and then switch sides. Clean it, squat, come up, and come right back down. Okay, so again, using the power of those hips to get that kettlebell up in that rack position, okay? It's not just your arms muscling it up. So let's get ready. Whoa. Deep breath. We got one full minute here, okay? Going in four seconds. Three, two, let's go. Clean it. Both feet have the same amount of pressure, okay? Down, clean. Up. So even though you have the weight on one side of your body, you want it to feel like you have it in both in your feet. Whoosh. Good. Again, nice tall spine in that racked position. Making a little shelf for your kettlebell, the crook of your elbow. Tune it up. Get breathing as you go. And again, you challenge yourself with the pace. Yeah, you go as fast as you think it's necessary while keeping good form. 10 seconds. Almost there. Breathe through it. You got it. Five seconds. Here we go. Ooh, my boots are on fire. <laughs> Three, two, and time. 30 second break. Shake it out. And we have that one more time. So deep breath, Whew. grab some water if you need it. You guys are doing amazing. And let's kill it on this last set, yeah? You know what you're doing now, so really put in your all. Feel it in those muscles, ready, set, and let's go. Clean it, squat, drive through those heels. Good, making sure that you're controlling that kettlebell as you come back down, and we're not just letting it fall. Squat, and down, good. Whoosh. Again, power of those hips as you bring that kettlebell up. Snap the hips, and that kettlebell is just coming along for the ride. Whoosh. Good, we are just about halfway through. Good. And again, even pressure through both feet. Think about keeping both sides of your torso nice and long. Meaning, try to avoid crunching to the side, you have the weight, yeah? Five seconds. Three, two, and whoo! Time, shake it out. Deep breath in, all right. Shake it out, shake it out, three. All right, last thing we have here now is rows, kettlebells, or kettlebell swings for your last minute. Okay, so we're gonna do two rows per side, okay, and then put the kettlebell down, set yourself up for your kettlebell swings. You're gonna do five kettlebell swings. Okay, so. In my hinge position, I'm rowing twice. Switching, rowing twice. Have my kettlebell down. Pitch it back to arm's length. Kettlebell swings five times. Three, four, five. Park it down. Again, safe it in and out of those swings. Bring it back. You row twice, okay? So let's get ready. Going in five seconds, deep breath. Set it up for your rows. Three, two, one, let's go. Row it twice. Switch arms. Good, place it down. Bring it forward, arms length. Break the handle, swing five times. One, two, three, four, five. Safely come out of the swing. Drag your kettlebell back, row it twice. Twice. Park it on the floor, arm's length. 
Hike it. Two, three, four, five. Park it safely. Drag it back. Row it. Two, one, two. Park it. Forward swings. Five, four, three, two, one. Safely come out, drag it back. This is probably your last one. One, two, one, two. Park it, drag it forward. Swings, five, four, three, two, one. And safely come out. Woo, magic. Done. <laughs> Deep breath in. Exhale, hands come down. Deep breath in, exhale, hands come down. Starting or ending like we started, eight reaches. Pop the hands together, inhale, exhale, roll down. Good, sink into it. Really reach your hands through. Roll yourself up, pinkies up, palms up. Pop the hands together, roll it down. Deep breath in, exhale, roll yourself up. Good, deep breath in, rolling down. Now you're gonna stay down. Good, right here, pushing your knees open with your elbows. And doing that side stretch again. Go up and over like a rainbow. And come back down. Again, it's not a twist. It's just a lateral stretch. So think about kind of tracing your hand along a wall. Inhale, come back to center. Good, have a seat. And we have three or four. So put that foot over the knee or over the top of the thigh. Proud chest here, I don't want any slumping, so push out of those arms. Push that knee outwards. Good. And the more you need, just creep closer to that foot. Keeping that proud chest straight back. And think about relaxing those glute muscles versus kind of clinging on to something. Letting every exhale kind of loosen the muscles there. Good, and switch sides. Foot across, bring it in. Again, proud chest. Okay, do whatever length you can do, keeping a proud chest. Remember, you can always creep forward a little later once you've loosened up a bit. Good, pushing that knee outwards. And pushing out of the floor, really tall spine here. And remember, when you need a little more stretch, you can always shimmy your body closer while maintaining that tall position. Good. Coming on to all fours, let's finish with some cat cows. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, and feet apart. Good. Deep breath in. Exhale, belly button to spine. Tuck the tail on under. Curl up like a cat. Feel your back muscles stretch out. And coming through neutral. Inhale. Exhale. Pull your knee or hands towards your knees. Letting your chest pull through to the other side of the room. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Belly back to spine. Curl into your cat position. Pushing away from the floor. And neutral position. Pull your chest through those arms. Good, and one last time. Cat. Into neutral. Send your hands a little more forward. Go into a nice big child's pose. You can keep your knees apart if that feels better. Really stretch against the floor. Reach super long. You can kind of sway side to side. You get different angles here. Good, roll yourself up and give yourself a round of applause. Excellent job, guys. Make sure you guys check out the uh, group class schedules for the virtual classes online. And I hope to see you at one of my kettlebell classes online. See you guys soon.